Hi, I'm Talia. Hi, I'm Matthew. And, and we, we are, are the, the critics. critics. So, as you can see, we've joined forces once again <laughs> to do a review for the Durban International Film Festival 2016, or DIV 2016, as we'll be calling it, because I'm tongue twisting trying to say that over I've gotten really good at saying it. Today, we watched Nobody's Died Laughing which was amazing. Incredible. Um, it was basically a documentary uh, telling us about the life of the prolific South African uh, sat satirist and entertainer, Mr. Peter Dirk Ace, who is just an icon in our country. For those of you who are watching us from overseas, he is, you know, just someone who's changed the political plane of our country throughout his career. I think his career spans about four decades now. I think to sum up, like, this, the part in the, movie, in the film that summed it up best for me was when Nelson Mandela says to Evita Bezaidenhout, uh, you are my hero. Mm, like, like, for Mandela to say anyone says hero is, speaks volumes. Um, I mean, he goes right up there with all of the uh, people that were involved in the um, political struggle and yeah. bringing us into a very a relatively calm demo democracy. Uh, it was really amazing to watch that film. I, I think there are a few moments when you really feel proud to be South African, uh, in recent times especially, but this was definitely one of those moments. And the film was directed by a South African yeah. as well, a young guy, uh, Willem Olofsa, who, who we had the pleasure of speaking to. Um, we also got a chance to speak to Peter, which was really <laughs> nerve-wracking, nerve but amazing as well. I've been scared the entire weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I think as young people, the film really got to us on a different level from, say, our parents who'd watch it. Yeah. Because we are living what he tried to achieve, what he always set up to achieve. I think from the earliest memories of him uh, doing his show on TV, he made us question the government. Uh, we knew satire before we even understood yeah. what it meant. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's an incredible film to see. I, mm. think it's, I think it's, for me, it's just incredibly, it, it creates such a massive challenge for us as youth in South Africa and across the world to say that you can't let things that uh, are designed to create fear mm. get to you, you, mm. you know, and it's, it's really, Without it being, in, you know, shoving it into you down your throat, it wasn't contrived. Yeah, and it and it uh, it didn't shove the message down your throat, but it, it really did challenge. Mm. It really said, "This look at what this one man with entertainment has achieved in his life, what he's continuing to achieve with mm. his life, and really, you know, what are you? What are you doing with your what, life? Yeah, well, you, you know, <laughs> look look around and see what you can do. Look around. It's it's incredible to watch a story that. Um, that does such uh, credit to someone whose uh, life has been so encompassing and mm. is still so encompassing. Mm. encompassing. Um, and uh, beautifully put together, beautifully shot. The, pa um, the pacing was nice as well. I and mean, the pacing was very good. It's a documentary, but you know, I could sort of see the exact themes of each section of the film. Yeah. So you know, they talk about his uh, working with theatre and then they talk about his personal life and then and they talk about his upbringing and they talk about his uh, work uh, for HIV and AIDS. So it, it was very well paced and every comment made by uh, one of Peter's uh, friends, be it a celebrity, his lawyer, his partner, it was all relevant and yeah. it, it just rang true. So the, the editing as well was great because, the, you, I mean, if you're interviewing someone, you can really just edited in a way that it includes everything, all the footage that you've got, or you can really choose the, the, the statements that have an impact. And I think what Willem has done here yeah. is really found um, the, like the essence of, of Peter as we all understand him, yeah. and on a personal level which we didn't know. Yeah, and I really like how this, the, as much as we hear from uh, Peter Durgates the whole way through, mm. I really like how we only, how we, you got to know him, mm. and then and the stories around him, the stories people were telling around him, built him up, uh, and built his story up. And then right at the end, there was a lot more time dedicated, at least I felt, to Peter de Gates explaining his philosophies yes. and explaining uh, everything that he does. Yes. Um, and and that was, and that was amazing. You got a sense of a man from those who knew him, and then at the end, the cherry on top was uh, 
hearing hearing his word from more his and more. perspective. Yeah. Um, yeah, an incredible film. And as uh, Talia mentioned earlier, we had the amazing opportunity to interview uh, both Willem and Peter and Peter Der Gates. Uh, so we we went on for quite a while with them, which was really <laughs> fantastic. Uh, and so we're going to do an, a separate video just for that. But to give you uh, some insight into what that looks like, here's a brief segment from uh, Peter Der Gates. So firstly, just obviously a massive congratulations on the film. Um, and the first question I think to both of you is um, why this project, what was involved, that you deserve it, why open up your personal life, and tell them how did you get involved? Well, first of all, the great excitement of being asked to do this, who would bother? <laughs> you know, and I thought, first of all, I said it's going to be a very short film. Um, and then he said, well, you know, there's this and there's that, and I thought, oh, I see. Okay, so it's not just it's not just like like red carpet chat, you know. Um, and it's about inspiration, inspiration, and about um, reflecting other people's questions. Uh, the audience again, it's always about the audience, you know. And and I don't usually do this. I haven't got time with all the CV and, and, and that. But this was really truly like an adventure for me. And, and we was re exploring old roads that I've passed by and I suddenly thought, oh, is that where that happened? And, and then meeting up with lots of old friends and, and, and new friends. And, and no, it was, uh, I'm, I sat here watching Peter Dogates and that's really for the first time I actually didn't get up and buy some coffee. <laughs> it was nice. Okay, so we'll put the link of that in the description uh, box below, along with our um, links to the Durban International Film Festival. Do you want um, to tell us when it's showing next year, yeah. Matt? Please so, go and see, watch this film. As South Africans, you know, it's your duty. Whatever your age is, uh, if, you don't, if you don't know him, your parents knew him, and he's had some impact on your life. So please, please go and watch this film. Uh, so it's next show on the 24th of June at 6 o'clock at Masquerade. And then lastly, on the 26th of June uh, at 9.30 at the Playhouse. And then it's getting released at the end of July. Yeah. It's going to cinemas. But see it now. You'll see it before everyone. You'll be cooler than the hipsters. Um, mm -hmm. Like we were, because this was the world premiere, which yeah. has been an absolute honor to attend. Which is such a privilege. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah. If, you, if you like this uh, video, please uh, click like, go and subscribe to our channel to see more. We're still covering diff for the rest of the festival till the 26th. You can um, find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr, where we are going crazy. <laughs> incessantly do uh, documenting our journey on Duke. Yeah. Um, we've met such great people so yeah. far, and it's been an amazing experience. If you love film, I am not an art, arty person, but uh, this is, has been an eye-opening experience so far. It, it's, it's, it just, if you like films, go, go and see it. Go and it's going to open your eyes to so, so many new experiences. Um, and you get to meet the people who make the films there as well. So please, 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 check, check out the festival. I'm Matthew. I'm Talia. And this has been the critics at the Durban International Film Festival 2016 reviewing Nobody's Died Laughing. <laughs>